UK researchers have announced a major breakthrough in the fight against COVID-19. In a major clinical trial, a low-cost steroid known as dexamethasone was able to reduce deaths among critically ill COVID patients. Among patients who could only breathe with help from a ventilator, the drug was able to cut deaths by about one-third. Absolutely delighted that today we can announce the first successful clinical trial for a treatment for COVID-19. UK officials announced the good news on Tuesday. In a 6,000-person study by Oxford University researchers, 2,000 patients were giving dexamethasone. Among ventilated patients, the drug cut the death rate from 40% to 28%. Among patients who were receiving oxygen only, the drug reduced the death risk from 25% to 20%. This is a large-scale clinical trial in the UK. The trial involved more than 2,000 patients. The drugs were randomized, so the trial is reliable. It compared two groups. One was given a steroid called dexamethasone. The other was not given anything. Then, after 10 days, they looked at whether there was any difference in the death rates of the two groups. Dexamethasone is a widely available steroid. Its uses include treating rheumatoid arthritis and other rheumatoid inflammations. The point of the steroid is to reduce the body's inflammatory response. The severity of pneumonia correlates with inflammation. So if you drive down the inflammatory response, the pneumonia won't be as severe and the risk of death will drop. The UK study shows that dexamethasone can significantly decrease the death rate of seriously ill COVID patients. It's the first drug proven to improve the survival rate for the disease. It marks a major milestone in the fight against COVID-19. If we treat eight patients in intensive care with this drug, um, we'll save one life. And the total cost of treating all eight patients is only about £40. This is an old drug. It's a long-lasting steroid and it's cheap. Developing nations have this drug too. Basically, everyone can use it. We can all lower the death rate without expensive treatments. After the results were announced, the UK government authorized the National Health Service to use dexamethasone on coronavirus patients. We've been stockpiling it since March, so we now have 200,000 courses that are ready to go. And we've taken steps to ensure we have enough supplies even in the event of a second peak. Experts called on the public not to self-administer the drug, saying that it is not effective when only mild symptoms are present.